Hello, welcome back to Gordon's channel. We've come to lesson 11 of our to-do list app series. And in this lesson, we will learn to handle the input of date and time. We will learn the input element with the type date. We will learn the input element with the type time. And we will learn how to use the date constructor. And we will learn a date method called to local string. So this is what we have done last time. And let's go to our, uh, now we can input two more input elements for uh, inputting date and time. So let's go to our HTML file. And then here we can create two more elements. So we can create two more. One is for the input with the type date. And for the other row, it will be an input element with the type time. And for the JavaScript to get this file, let's uh, use the ID date input and the ID of time input. So then we can use the document dot get element by ID. So here in the element, we will in the our closer, we will define two variables for the element. One is date input, one is time input. And here in the get element, we will get them. So date input will be documents dot get element by ID with the ID of date input and for the time input, it will be document dot document dot get element by ID with the ID of time input. So here we have the date input and the time input. For the date input, we can input the numbers one by one, and or we can choose this um, button, and then we can choose here. So we can go to choose a number. And here for the time, we can choose from, we can input the number here or choose from this menu of the Chrome. So different browser may have a different, different interface, right? So this is how to use the date input and the time input. But now if you click the add, you don't see them to be displayed because now we have to implement it. So let's go to our JavaScript file. And in the add entry, we have uh, create and read the input text box, and then uh, put the value in a object, and then pass to uh, render row. Now, what we, we need to do is create two more value. So first is the date value, which is the date input element value. And now we will uh, empty the date input element. So its value will be back. And then for the uh, time input, we will also do this. So time value will be time input dot value. And then the time input dot value will be blank. So, and then we will need to uh, pass it to the object. So we will add two more property when it's date, which is the uh, date input dot value, which is date value. Another one is the time value. So time will be the time value. Okay. So uh, after showing into the object, then we will pass this object to the render row. So let's go to find the render row. Okay, which is here. And now in the render row, we will create two more elements. And we can decide where to put the element. For example, if we think that uh, date in time is very important because uh, planning when to do something is important. So we can put it here before the to do entry after the checkbox. So here uh, we can go to the after the checkbox, we can add two more cells. The first cell is the date cell. And the second cell is the time cell. So here we can create them. So uh, basically, it is doing the same thing here. So let's 
copy this one so we will create an element uh, let's call it date element and then it is a uh, td which is cell and for this date element this inner text will be our date value but this date value we will need to uh, get it here because we are passing an object as argument and we are destructuring it so we will call it date and time so just not to rename it just use the property name so here we will be for the date element is inner text will be the date and here for the another one here we will pass the date element to the tr so date element will be passed to the tr and here for the time time element we are doing basically the same thing time element will be a td and the value the inner text of our time element will be just what we destructured so it is time and this time element will be appended to the tr element as a child so now if we uh, append something it will be in the wrong cell so for example if i type to do one and then the category one and say if it is happening today and then the time may be now and if i add you see uh, it will be the sequence is correct but here the caption i need to update it to include two more cell two more column so i will go back to my xml page for in the xml file i have the table here i have different cells so for the checkbox one so following the checkbox one i will create two more td this one is the date and this one is the time nice so uh, i don't need this delete okay so here if we refresh it we can see dates time to do and the category and then we have the checkbox and the delete button great so this is how to use the dates input and the time input and now uh, as a bonus i want to explain how to um, handle the date format so uh, we can go back to our console let's say uh, i have what we have input just just before for example and then let's say it is today and to current time and now if i want to uh, format this uh, for example i don't like this format i can go to my javascript file here in a date element i can do more summer process so i will need to use a date method called to local string but before using this to local string i need to convert this string this input element returns a string i need to convert it into a date object with the date constructor so i will go to my file and then i will create let a date object be the new keyword new date and for the date constructor it can accept an argument so i will pass my date string into it so let's console log it and see what has happened so if i console log the date object i should see this a long very long string representing the july 17th uh, and the time is the default time of uh, eight o'clock okay so this is a uh, string to string method of this date object so now if i want to format it for example i want to uh, only show this free so i can say date object dot to local string to local string okay and then i can uh, input some format for example a uh, en yes and then uh, i need to uh, store it in a value so for example formatted date formatted date for example this variable formatted date is date object dot to local string with uh, en us as the property so now if i console out the formatted date if i console out this one 
you can see it becomes uh, 7 slash 17 slash 2020 because this is the following the US format. But now if I change this uh, argument to ENUGB, you can see it becomes 17 slash 07 2020. So that's interesting because uh, different uh, countries they have different uh, practice. So sometimes the month goes first, sometimes the uh, dates go first. So this is very interesting. So now I can uh, let let me put both console log for your reference. Okay, so I can put this UB here, GB here, and uh, US here to make it just more obvious. So sometimes the month goes first, sometimes the month is in the middle. So this is how to format the um, dates according to different uh, country. And in another way is I can uh, omit this one and I can choose the July. For example, uh, for example, if this is not 17th, for example, it, it is, um, let's say, July 7th or uh, July 12th, okay? For example, July 12th. Then this may lead to a misunderstanding. So if someone may interpret 7 slash 12 as July 12th, someone may interpret it as December 7th. So how to solve this issue? So we can choose to show the month as the word. Okay, so if I want to do that, we will need to add a um, the options. So the options will be an object with the, for example, I can say the month, I want it to be words, which is long. So if I do this, and if I format it and print it, if I now I have passed the option month long into uh, the local string, and then I store it in format the day, and when I console out the format the day, I can see July. So this is how to uh, make it a format string. So if I want to say uh, the month and then the date. The day which is also long okay so this is not uh, long this is numeric okay so now we can see that we have the numeric dates which is 17 and 12 and we can then have the year the year so for the year i can say i want it to be a uh, numeric So we can have this seventeenth uh, July twenty twenty, twelfth July twenty twenty. When it is twelfth July twenty twenty, it is uh, there will not be misunderstanding. The month must be July, so the twelfth must be the date. So I can put this formatted day into our inner text instead of the default. So now we can have you see the date has changed to our wanted format. So. This is uh, how to uh, use the to local string. So uh, I hope you like this lesson. And in the next lesson, we will start to do something interesting. So look forward to seeing you in the next lesson. Thank you. Bye-bye.